the next topic that we are going to cover uh, generally falls under the parameter of uh, under the perimeter of uh, logical ability or thinking uh, there is a uh, you know different name for it as well which you do not need to remember it is called syllogism again you know even i didn't know this name before i you know checked out some books that whether it, it is you know i found this name i found this name to be very amusing and i checked it out then i found okay these questions were called uh, syllogism but uh, you know again it's not really important for you to know the name it's important for you to understand the questions uh, now these questions are based on set theory and they very very liberally used venn diagrams so if you don't know what set what set theory is if you don't know what venn diagrams are i will request that you go back to the chapter which deals with the set theory and venn diagrams because they will be used i mean and you cannot solve these questions without uh, uh, some working knowledge of venn diagram i'm not saying that you that you should be an expert of venn diagram or something because these questions will not invo you know involve calculation on set theory there are two kind of questions one question one kind of question is you know that we have solved in the topic of set theory that these many players play hockey these many players play football these many students play both the sports then find this find that right you must be remembering you know we used to draw this is the universal set and th these are the players who play hockey these are the players who play football then these are the players who play both and you know within this set we used to find a number of things that and you know uh, it was based on calculation right so that was the prime thing which uh, you know th that those are the questions which are directly based on fit theory they also appear in the examination but many a times the questions that appear they use the fit theory but they do not involve numbers they do not care about numbers they do not have any calculation they only have the logic so you only have to understand the logic only then you can answer the venn diagram you know on the basis of the venn diagrams you can answer the question now uh, just to give you you know some idea of the question in question what happens normally you have two statements or you there can be more you have some statements which are given to you now remember whenever in these questions a statement is given to you your knowledge will be based on that statement your knowledge will not be the outside world's knowledge for example if a statement says that no dogs bark if this is a statement given that means there is no dog in the world who barks then you will not you know think that there are some dogs who bark or i have seen them in my life no if it is given in the question it is the truth so whatever is given that is the truth so whichever statement is given you will assume that to be correct and on the basis of that you will reach some conclusion so normally you know uh, some uh, some such statements are given and on the basis of those statements um, then there are two or three or four conclusions are given and you are supposed to tell which one of them is true right so these are the you know, things for example let's say uh, you know i'll just show you how do we uh, you know take care of these statements it is very important just like we did you know the blood relation thing in the blood relation the only thing you need to do is to make the family tree if you can make that no problem similarly in direction questions if you can draw the diagram correctly no problem similarly in these questions if you can make the venn diagram correctly then these questions are solved then there is absolutely no problem at this point i'll repeat again if you do not know what venn diagrams are then please go back to the chapter when we had covered the venn diagrams in detail uh, we have discussed the different possibilities the questions please revisit those points now let's say uh, let's you know let's say uh, let's start with some statements you know we'll not deal with the question right now we'll deal with some questions but not right now right now let's start with some statements at, and let's say how do we draw the venn diagrams of them so let's say the first statements a first statement um, is that uh, some stars twinkle right some stars twinkle this is the first statement <coughs> and let's say the second statement is all that twinkles 
is red let us say again you know this can be bizarre they can be very bizarre or very you know rather wrong statements but you should this is the given statement to you let us say how do we depict these two statements in terms of a Venn diagram some stars twinkle and all that twinkles is red so let us say some stars twinkle not all some means not all stars twinkle some stars twinkle so let us say this diagram or this area is the is you know it is everything that twinkles this diagram depicts everything that twinkles right this diagram depicts everything that twinkles and some stars twinkle so let we can say maybe stars are like this so this is twinkle and these are stars so these stars you know some stars are there which twinkle no problem with that and all that twinkles is red that means everything that twinkles is red so this has to be a subset of something so we don't know whether all the stars are red or not so maybe we can draw draw a diagram like this and let's say this is the diagram of red right in this red diagram everything that twinkles in red but you know it doesn't say that in red there cannot be things that don't twinkle there can be those things as well so this is the correct venn diagram of this problem now suppose the question asks you what 